Hello everyone. So today we will be uh, looking into the last module of this uh, chapter that is highway planning. So as I told in the previous module, we will be having a look into the various phases of the roads that are concerned with northeast regions and along with that the road development plans keeping the vision 2021 and 2025 into mind. Okay. So these are the contents that we will be looking into today. So SARDP uh, Northeast is the roads under the special accelerated road development plan. Uh, after that, the roads for the left wing extremism, then road development plan vision 2021 and 2025. Okay. So here as we can see, uh, roads under SARDP Northeast uh, considered two phases. Okay. So, phase A was basically related with the improvement that was required for a stretch of road that was uh, about 4,099 kilometers, out of which uh, 3,014 kilometers of roads to national highways and 1,085 kilometer of road stretch belong to state highways. Now, out of this, 3,213 kilometers was already approved for the execution. However, by till March 2019, it was seen that 2,101 kilometer of road stretch was already completed. Now, as plan of phase A, it was uh, expected to be completed by this year or in the next year, that is 2023-24. Uh, after that, going on to phase B, so this phase covers around 3723 kilometers of stretch of road out of which 2210 kilometer of stretch of road belongs to national highways and the remaining 1513 kilometers of road belongs to state highways okay now phase b will only be taken into consideration initiate after the completion of the phase a now apart from that there was an, another package that is Arunachal Pradesh package. So as part of this phase, uh, total stretch of road that was considered uh, 2,319 kilometers, out of which uh, national highways comprised 2,205 kilometer of road stretch, while 114 kilometer of road stretch fell under the state highway or strategic roads. Then the projects on 776 kilometer of road stretch were taken up on BOT mode that we already know, build, operate, transfer and the remaining are to be developed on EPC mode that is engineering, procurement, construction mode. Then projects of 2047 kilometer of length have all and uh, the 928 kilometer of road stretch has been completed by uh, March 2000. Uh, this entire package is supposed to be finished by or supposed to be completed by the year 2023-24. Okay. So, an estimated amount of rupees 30,315 crores have been spent in SARDP including the Arunachal Pradesh package. So, next is the roads for the next is the roads for the so this uh, road development program was initiated for a uh, stretch of road of 1177 kilometer of national highways and 4276 kilometer of state highways in the left wing extremism affected areas uh, that costed approximately rupees 7300 crores so this project spans over 34 districts in eight states uh, such as andhra pradesh bihar Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha and Uth As on 31st of March 2019, the detailed estimates of uh, uh, 5,422 kilometer length of stretch have been sanctioned at an estimated cost of rupees 8,674 crores, out of which the works on 5,419 kilometer length costed rupees 8739 crores have already been awarded while the development in 4792 kilometer length of road has been completed by march 2019 
and the cumulative expenditure that uh, incurred so far is rupees 7315 crores so next is the road development plan vision 2021 so in this case uh, the main focus was that out of uh, total national highways that is the 100 percent of national highways 50 percent of the national highways should have four or six lanes while the remaining should have at least two lane carriageways with hard shoulders similarly for state highways uh, 10,000 kilometer of stretch of state highways should have four lanes while the remaining should have two lanes next the major district roads so in this case it was seen that out of the entire major district roads at least 40 percent of the major district roads should have two lane carriageways the targets for the basic access to village should also have two lane carriageways and the maintenance of the existing assets is also important so it was mandatory to provide uh, some sufficient attention or adequate attention to such maintenance activities regarding the existing assets Continuing, uh, next point is uh, the alternative sources of funding. Uh, so, various alternative sources of funding such as toll tax or uh, uh, imposing tax on the use of fuel uh, that we can say additional levies here. So, it will be a part of road fund that will be used for the uh, for generating the revenue and it will be useful in the improvement uh, that is required to be made to the existing road condition for this particular plan. Also, upgradation of construction technology is also important. Whichever technology have been used in the past, which is uh, now obsolete, that can be replaced by various uh, new types of uh, construction uh, approaches. Then, uh, road safety should also be enhanced through engineering measures. So, this we have discussed as a part of uh, uh, module 1, where we have seen what uh, optimization of signal does so optimization of signal or the designed road network what it does it it helps in reducing the chances of accidents okay and also it reduces the chances of congestions that is the major uh, the reason behind the accidents then environmental concerns uh, that are caused by road and road traffic should also be addressed like uh, uh, using public modes more when compared to your personalized modes of transport can also reduce in uh, pollution rather than that we can also move on to the electrical vehicles which is an alternative or i should say is a part of sustainable transportation then uh, the also it is very important to train the engineers which is a major concern and should be looked into more also greater recourse uh, should be given to uh, public private so this ppp that is the public private partnership is a uh, time uh, is a type of tie up between uh, where the private uh, agency uh, provide funding to the government projects and it uh, uh, draws the uh, revenue from the tax uh, next is the rural road development plan vision 2025 so this plan is majorly focused on the rural roads that we have seen earlier uh, that various types of rural roads are there such as uh, uh, village roads so this was uh, proposed by indian roads congress and uh, the main aim was to prepare a master plan for uh, the rural roads where uh, they can have a look at the entire core road network uh, that provides accessibility to each village uh, all future programs should strictly be based on this particular network was the aim of this particular plan. Also, all habitations uh, with the population of more than 100 should be well connected by all weather roads. Uh, it was uh, predicted that a length of 2,90,000 kilometers of new roads will be required in order to achieve the full connectivity, uh, whether it be within the village or to the group of villages. Uh, out of this, uh, 40,000 kilometers uh, were considered uh, for to be as uh, black topped that we have seen as a part of uh, surface and unsurfaced roads and the remaining 2,50,000 kilometer will be of gravel type of roads. Also the upgradation of the existing rural roads 
have to be considered and the cost the estimated cost for the same is around rupees 1,64,000 crores. The maintenance of the road network regarding these uh, village or the rural region will also require a heavy amount of rupees uh, 7,500 crores every year. So, this maintenance is very important and for this, this much expenses or this much expenditure is required. Great preference or more preference has to be given to the adoption of new technologies for the construction and maintenance of the roads. Now, this is where this uh, chapter ends and I would like to uh, give some assignment to the students. So, uh, you have seen the basic difference on uh, what is BOT, what is EPC, okay, uh, EPC has uh, helped NHAI a lot uh, in order to uh, uh, finish the project very fast and uh, they, uh, all these uh, types of models have played a very major role in completion of various uh, road projects in this country. So, you need to find out what all projects related to road are going on in India and which type of model whether they are using the BOT model or so that you have to see. Thank you.